So as expected, the Minister of Finance has delivered the 2021-2022 budget. What we had expected this year was really for the Minister to tell us the impact of COVID-19 on the economy, what has transpired last year. If you remember, last year was not really a year of trading. Uh, there was a lot of lockdowns, um, a lot of trade was shut down. You look at the SME sector, which was a key area that government really wanted to drive in last year's budget. I'm talking about um, growing employment or reducing unemployment rates um, through the SME. But this was the, 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 the area or the industry that was really highly, highly impacted. You look at entertainment, which also falls under the, 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 the SME sector. Um, you look at um, a lot of um, tourism activities. You look at um, bars and clubs. You look at um, all entertainment, really. Um, that was highly impacted by the lockdowns last year and it continues to be um, as those are contact areas, those are contact activities and they continue to be on shutdown. So the minister had reported um, the real impact of um, COVID-19 on the economy um, last year. He mentioned that revenues were down 25% as reported in the last quarter. He has also mentioned that our balance of payments um, had a deficit of about 14.8 billion up from 5.8 billion in the previous period. But we all know that um, we have always been uh, a, 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 an import-based economy, not necessarily export. So we've been trying to fight this uh, balance of payment deficit for, for so long. But last year um, was a real um, shocker, uh, but not really a shocker, but rather um, uh, the, the impact was really, really felt um, when it comes to that. Um, so we need to try as an economy um, by all means to try and um, move into the manufacturing sector um, so that we can balance this out. The Minister has also spoken about um, poor value for money for certain ministries and certain departments and he was very firm in pointing out that there are certain parastatals that are making losses and government will not continue um, to fund those losses. Um, if you remember, the Minister has also spoken about um, how they, 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 they went deep into their pocket, deep into their savings um, to try and rescue the situation, mostly due to um, these deficits that are coming from um, various departments and parastatals that are making um, huge losses. Our savings are now down um, to 5.6 billion from 17.8 billion um, in the previous period. Um, so with, with, with all of this, government has to recover in a way. And the minister has mentioned that um, some of those recovery plans um, include um, increasing VAT from 12 to 14 um, percent. There's, there's an increase in the fuel levy and we are going to see some new taxes being introduced like the tax on sweetened products. Um, minister has also mentioned that they want to be a lot more efficient uh, when it comes to tax collection. And by so doing, they are going to be putting system in place to try and collect as much as they possibly can. If you recall, there are so many companies and there are so many people who are actually moving money about, but they are not paying their taxes. So government is going uh, is going to be going um, hard on them and really implementing systems that can help BURS to try um, and collect that. So the budget um, every year, the, our expectation is on two things. One, we are looking at the recurrent budget and then we look at um, the developmental budget. Most of the time, the recurrent budget always takes the, the, the bulk of it. Even though we are a developing country and the expectation would be that we would have more money um, going towards the developmental budget than the recurrent budget. But as you know, government for the longest time has been trying to sustain employment and Government is the biggest um, employer currently, which means that their, their cost of operating is also very, very high. That's why our recurrent budget is always sitting um, north of 70%, while the, the developmental budget is sitting um, on less than um, 30%. So this year we are seeing 14 point um, something billion going towards the developmental budget, while more than 60 billion will be going towards um, the recurrent budget. And recurrent budget, just to simply try to explain it, it's really money that runs ministries. It's money that is used to pay salaries, pensions, gratuities, uh, money that is used for certain maintenance um, plans. Um, it's, on go it's an ongoing budget, while development is for infrastructure and, 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 and development. So one thing that really um, stood out for me on the developmental budget is the $1 billion that will be going towards the basic um, ministry. 
Um, this one million will be used for um, ICT um, equipment, ICT development in the basic um, education ministry. So when we are speaking about this, I'm thinking connectivity in classrooms, I'm thinking students with tablets, I'm thinking students um, with, 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 with computers. Um, so really, if you are an SME, if you are a medium enterprise and you are in the business of ICT, this is an opportune time for you to come up um, with innovative ways <clears throat> of helping government um, to actually provide ICT um, to, to these ministries. So this year's budget really um, was not um, a shocker. We expected the ministry to report more on COVID-19, its impact, and how the country has managed to, to contain it. And there has been a lot of efforts to contain it, and those efforts um, have proven to be um, quite um, bad, more especially for our economy. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope at home now you understand at least a brief of what the minister was speaking to.